stuck. I made it a march today. I don't you know did. why. It just it felt yeah. very it marchy. Feels, it's very rhythmic. Marchy like on a Monday and my heart stood still. Uh, good morning, uh, Cincinnati. I'm Bob Herzog. And I'm Jen Dalton. Thank you for joining us on ARC Cincinnati. Hey, procrastinators, did you realize it's tax day? Mm -hmm. Just ahead, we talk a little bit about what to do if you waited until the last minute. It's all right. It's also, a surprising upset at the weekend box office. We're going to talk about some of the top movies. But first, let's see what's brewing, what you're talking about in the Tri-State. That first one was a march. This is more of this like, one, a, like a wiggle. Yeah, wiggle. wiggle, wiggle. The, the old march and wiggle. That's what we like to oh, deliver here. Oh, boy. This well, is a thing, isn't okay. it? Okay, so... I feel like we should do some explaining. If you were watching the Billy Joel concert, like so many were last night, you might be a little frustrated. We didn't start the fire. I think that's uh, the <laughs> bottom line. Got lots of comments suggesting that, and it's on point. So the recorded performance cut out Ugh. in the last minutes, literally as the piano man Brutal. was singing piano man. Oh, People were very, very, very mad. Understandably. But to clarify, this affected all CBS stations, Eastern Standard Time, I think some in Central Time as well. So it was not our fault. Despite this one dude on my Facebook page who just will not give it up. I promise it wasn't us. Uh, to make a long story short, the Masters went long, right? And that, that happens. That's, that's not unusual. But then there was some kind of CBS special news report, I guess, that followed it. And that time was not accounted for by the network powers that be, and that led to the problem. Mm. Also an important note, don't call your local news <laughs> stations and start cussing out the first person to answer the phone because they didn't do it. Even I, if it and, was and, a local, even if it was something locally yeah, domestic, just that don't, person answering the phone is not the one that's... Don't go vile yeah. right at the very beginning. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, I get people are upset. Now, I, I oh, knew, totally. You know, I wake up at 2.30, I knew I wasn't going to stay up late and watch it, especially as the Masters ran over. I set it to record. So I was in the same boat in that sense as everybody else if I was going to watch my recording. Some good news, though, it is on CBS.com right now. Yes. Like it's, you can, for free, you can go to for, CBS. I just put it yeah. on my page, too. Yeah, so. yeah I mean, there, there's a couple you can go. There's some commercials, you know, just like you would if you were watching on a yeah. TV. But it is available there. But I, can't, I cannot stress enough. And we get, like, you would not believe. Like, maybe you were upset, but you're sitting there right now and you're watching thinking, people actually called, oh, yeah. Somebody faxed us, I believe. They, yeah, they call and the words and the, 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 the vitriol, like you, you would not believe right. the phone calls that people here have to right. take. And listen, it's okay if you are frustrated and uh, be feedback, frustrated. feedback is okay, yeah. but like to just yell to just profanities at people doesn't correct. make sense. And again, uh, we're hoping that maybe CBS puts out some sort of statement and I have no idea. A lot of people on my page when I posted about this were saying maybe they'll re-air it. Could they re-air it? I don't know, but that right. that would be nice. But at least at least it is there for free yeah. on CBS.com CBS. com. right now. You don't have to pay anything. You can just literally Google CBS.com, Billy Joel, and this, the concert will come up. I had other people also quoting his song, The Entertainer, because if you're going to have a hit, you got to make it fit. So they oh, cut it down to 305. Yeah, wow, people, um, see, yeah, people are, kind of comments we love. People they, are they're, they're on it. What a shame, though. What a shame. So, Thanks to everybody who reached out in, in calm ways about the concert and for everybody who didn't, just hopefully take a breath and, and think about the important things in life. It was frustrating. We totally understand, though. Yeah. Hey, two local veterans hope to accomplish something few people have, reaching the world's highest peak. Quincy Stang and Tanner Brink are a long way from home with a huge endeavor ahead of them. The climbing partners met while serving in the National Guard during the pandemic, bonding over hiking. Well, after their recent deployment to the Middle East, they decided to tackle Mount Everest. Neither of us are strangers to danger. You know, we've both been deployed before with the military background. So I definitely think that that adds a little bit of confidence to be able to tackle something like this. That's so awesome. While Brink is a bit newer to mountaineering, Stang has been tra training for this adventure much of his life. He has 30 years of experience climbing mountains all over the world. Stang says the whole process will probably take a month and a half. They expect to return to Cincinnati sometime in June. I'd like to say that's one of those things that I would love to tackle in my life, but right. I could not. I do not have the physical or mental strength to be able to do that. So I am in awe of them. The ability to acclimate when the air right. gets that thin. Because have you ever been out like to Colorado? Have you ever been out yes, to the Rockies or anything yes. like that? And I went on hikes out there where it, for the first day, you're yeah. just like, is there something, is there something wrong with me? Because you, you're, you mm -hmm. can't quite 
catch it the way you want to catch your breath and to think about how high they are going up as opposed to how high I was up yeah. in that situation it really is pretty remarkable. It's, and it's, I mean, there's a serious danger involved. Oh, so gosh, it's yeah. Not a, and as we heard, not a quick thing either, a month and a half. Nope. And, um, and I think people have, have passed on the route and they kind of have to, like, leave you there. Oh right. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think they necessarily always are able, are capable of bringing people back down once you get to a yeah. certain, a so certain height. Which our is, thoughts are with them for good. Yeah. Good climbing. Yep. Yeah. Be safe, Be and safe. we'll. I'm no doubt Morella will check back yeah. in when you get back. Morella Porter did the original story on that. Hey, take a look at this, boy. This is a sign of the season. Kings Island Yay. tweeted out their video of a test run, the first one of the season of the Beast yes. over the weekend. Look at that. That coaster's going. The park opens for the season this coming Saturday, but season pass holders are going to be able to get in a day early. Most of the changes will be at Camp Snoopy. There's a brand new roller coaster that's on my level. Uh, some other rides <laughs> in the uh, area are getting new names and decor. It's it's a big anniversary for many of the roller coasters at the park, too. This year, the Banshee turns 10 years old. Diamondback already, already celebrating 15. And in Vertigo is turning 25. I was like, what's in Vertigo? They're like face off. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, the Beast, by the way, 45 years old this season. <laughs> to celebrate all the anniversaries, the park is giving away limited edition trading card to the first 750 riders on select coasters mm. this year. Weekend. That's really fun. And, you know, I mean, there are, I have a couple people that post on my Facebook page regularly that are coaster enthusiasts. Yes. You know what I mean? There's like a group of well, them. They, a, get, they get invited to some of these early sure. launches and that type of thing. So that'll be really neat for them to have those trading cards. Well, and I think it's really cool. I think it was, was it last year? Tanner, correct me if I'm wrong. We did a story on just the anniversary of the park itself and sort of the old video. And it's when you talk to people who are of a certain age and are from this area and can remember, the Smurfs Enchanted mm -hmm. Voyage and can remember when there was the Beastie to go along with the Beast and the Bat and all the name changes of all these different coasters. It's kind of fun to see the yeah. way things have evolved. You talk about the Brady Bunch episode oh and just gosh, all yeah. the things that come along with talking about Kings Island, which is super fun. And I cannot believe opening weekend is coming up. Another sign of the season. You ready for another one? I am. To the west side we go for this one. A favorite <laughs> Love with place. a view right along the Ohio River back open today. Cabana on the Look river. Closed in September for the season. They are ready to go. The restaurant has a large menu full service bar featuring frozen concoctions mm -hmm. nice on an 80 degree day it's famous long island iced tea among the drinks out there it's just off of 50 near fern bank park and it really has sort of settled in to be one of those west side places yep. that you go in the in the summertime for sure if you've never gone yeah. go check it out sometime this summer it is just so nice it's they have food chill. for everybody it's chill so chill um, you know, if you have to wait, if there's a long line, they've got cornhole you can play while yeah. you're sitting there. And I mean, they, do they, they have volleyball? Have, they, they have, have volleyball, volleyball leagues, but I don't know how quickly right. those pick up, and I don't know if the if the courts are ever open. I don't know if you and have to do. be in a league or, you know, they how that like works. They have music a lot on the weekends, but it's, it's one of those places fun. where you can go and you can sit and you can forget that, not that I don't love Cincinnati, but for just a moment, it you're feels like you're on vacation. Up. You're transported yeah. to someplace so tropical. Whatever, you just mm -hmm. feel like you're on vacation. Plus, Fernbank Park is like right there. If you want to go for a walk in the park for you, you can do that. The people that work there are so nice. They're so nice. It's West Side, Jeff. I know. That's, That's how we do. Nice. That's Just right. how we do. <laughs> well, this new show is a team effort, and you are a big part of what will make this show, Arc Cincinnati, a success. Yeah, so we asked you on social media, what did you like from the first week? What do you want to see? Changes you would make? That kind of thing. Yep. Uh, a few people had this question, but Kathy says, is there a way to stream from out of state? Yes. That's a that's a yeah. great uh, thing you can do. Go to local12.com if you're out of state. You can watch there. Okay, and you we want to show you because my mom was trying app. to do this. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna walk them yes, through the are. process. Because okay. my mom went to the page and she said, I don't know. I don't where? know where to go. Right. So if you go to local12.com, right. and Tanner's showing you here with the mouse, if you go up here, it says watch live. So you would click on that and you can oh look, <laughs> and we're live right now. Are we gonna um, be watching us watching that's us? That's very meta. Look. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, um, we, but we have the, to watch we got a little this com commercial, hang a little commercial that, first. Yeah. Hang on, just to stick with us. It's um, for some sort of a strategy game. Tanner, you skip can skip the ad. the ad now. Come on, man, get with it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's huh. weird. Yeah. Look. Okay, so it's it's a little bit behind. Do I always bracket. use my hands that much when I talk? I think we both do. We're oh, very that's hand terrible. Talker, talk. Forward. I wish yeah, I did. Yeah, the production assistants are laughing. Look at them. They're I like, wish I didn't. Uh, yeah, sorry, guys. We didn't. We didn't really know. But anyway, what did I do? What was I doing? When did I dance? Did that just happen? I don't know. Yeah, apparently it did, Bob. When will then be now? 
Sorry, space but that's balls. A way, that's, right? that's a way to. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, hey, how about promoting local <laughs> small businesses? That's what Mary had to say in her Mary. comment. Yeah, we love this one. Small businesses, maybe once a week, or nonprofits and the good they are doing. Mary, that's we so like funny. that. Mary, I had the same idea. I thought we should feature a, a small business. Jen and Mary, Mary they like this. I like that. sending those They're ideas. connected cerebrally. Yeah. yeah. Because we're, we really are listening to, like, turning off the flashing taco sign. Right. Uh, making some adjustments to the set. We, we are listening. Well, and there's going to be more things we'll be able to do now that we've got sort of a week under our belt there right. was let's just but it's been okay it's been arduous it's been ready to kind of keep yeah. it going yes and expand some things yeah. and some bob and jen out of the studio segments Ooh, we plan on some of that too and that's a great idea and that falls right into the same category and you may recall i was i was going out with our buddy cliffy for a while yeah. doing that series of stories of what about a bob stories we want to do more of those kinds of things jen's going to get out and do stuff we're going to get out and do things together which i think will really really we're be fun out tomorrow in fact so that'll be coming up we'll let and people know wednesday we're going to have something else in studio you want to tell them what that is? Just real quick. We're going to have a baby mini cow. <laughs> and I got to meet it over the weekend. She's already met the mini Her cow. Her name is Toodles. Toodles the she's mini cow. She's teething. She's three months old and she's so cute. Tell all of your friends. Yeah. Uh, we have one more to share and it's from Jason. Uh, Jason says <laughs> oh. <laughs> that I need to improve my time running through the office. Practice makes perfect. It was a little slow. Things I think we've learned from that experience, though, keep the doors open. Good. That was an unfair obstacle, Good. I think, to, to ask of that me. That was. Um, I think... Anthony with the water station that, that Ryan had suggested people, was integral to the process. People loved Anthony. Yeah, because I, I don't think I could have stayed hydrated. And, and Kim, she was the one like hitting the button bop, 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 as I was running through Studio A like a champ. So yeah. she is ready to go. Well, maybe we we'll have again. a rematch. Maybe Ellie will do an Ellie thing again and we'll have another rematch. You never know when Ellie's going right. to do an Ellie thing. That's the beautiful part of it. All right. It is 8-11. Thanks for all your input. And next up, we're going fishing. We hear from the young woman who caught an absolute monster of a catfish. Yeah. Look at that And that's thing. the reason I'm not going to ever go in the Ohio River. Good golly. We'll be right back. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.